Python is awesome for automation and today I want to show you how we can schedule and run Python scripts with GitHub Actions for free. So basically this is like a hosted Python script in the cloud that can do any automation task we want. And I use this for several personal projects. For example, I have this tweet scraper project. This runs once a day and looks at my Twitter timeline and if it finds a popular tweet then it updates this in the readme and it also stores the tweet in a new file and all these changes are committed automatically so this is also something we can do with a GitHub action. So for example if we have a look at the commit timeline we see the initial commit is by me and all the other ones are committed by this actions user so this is super helpful and also easy to set up. And then I also want to show you this cool project I found by Ethan Rosenthal. He uses GitHub Actions to run once a week and then back up his Spotify Discover Weekly playlist. So I think this is a super cool project and earns a star. And if you also have a cool idea for what we can use GitHub Actions and Python scripts then drop this in the comments below. And now let's get into it. So first of all, what are GitHub Actions? GitHub Actions are used to automate all your software workflows and usually they are used for CI CD pipelines. So when you push something to the repository, then this action will be triggered and can, for example, execute some tests. So this is a very common use case. But what most people don't know is that we can also run GitHub Actions on a cron job basis. So basically at any time we specify. And this is what we do in this example. And all of this can be done for free because the free tier in GitHub includes 2000 minutes of GitHub Actions. And this is more than enough for several projects because on average I think most of my actions if we have a look at them they take only 22 seconds so yeah this is more than enough to run the scripts for free and now let's see how we can set up these actions. So to get started I created this Python GitHub action template and I will put the link in the description. So let's go briefly over this. So first we have a .github workflows directory. This is the most important part which I will show you in a moment. Then we have a .git ignore, a readme, a main.py and in here we use logging and requests and then we call a weather API and lock the information. So you can see we also have a log file so it will lock this into a file. We can see weather in Berlin is 35 degrees Celsius. It's getting hot today. And then you also see that it locks a token value. So I will also show you how we can store and access a secret token. For example, an API token. So this is a very common use case you might need. Then we also have a requirements TXT. So in this case, it installs requests. So I show you how you can use third party packages as well. So this project here covers more or less all the normal use cases in a Python project. And one thing I want to show you, so this is scheduled to run every two hours. And if we have a look at the commits, then again, you will see the first ones are by me. And then here it updated the logs and this was all done by this action user. And you see this was 25 minutes ago, two hours, four hours, six, seven hours. So this is one thing I want to note here that this is not super precise to the exact minute or hour. And if you need something more precise, then a GitHub action is not the solution for you. Then you might look into another paid solution. But for my use cases, this is perfectly fine. So for some projects, I schedule them once a day or also every two hours approximately. And this is fine. Yeah, so this is how it works. And now in order to set up a GitHub action, we need this. So let's have a look at this. So to set up a GitHub action, we need to create a folder that is called .github and then an inner folder that is called workflows. So it needs to have this name. And here we create a actions YAML file. And here is where we define how this looks like. So we give it a name run main.py, then we define on. So when this will be triggered, for example, here you can also say on a push to the repository. In our case, we say schedule and then use a cron syntax. And in this case, this should run every two hours. If you don't know how the syntax works, then I have a tutorial for you on my channel that I can link here. I can also point you to this very helpful website, crontab.guru. So here you can play around with this. For example, if you say zero and then stars, then it will run at every full hour. 
And for example, with this, you can do a step. So at minute zero, passed every second hour. This is what we use here. And now we set up the jobs. So here we can define different steps. So the first step is to check out the repo content. And for this, we use an existing action. So actions check out. Then we set up Python. So for this, we use actions set up Python version four. And you can, by the way, find them on the official actions repository on GitHub. So you can search for them and then have a look at all the available ones. So in this case, we use set up Python and we specify the Python version. Then we install Python packages if we have third party packages so we can run a terminal command and say python m pip install dash upgrade pip and then pip install dash r requirements txt. And now we can finally run our main.py. So we say run python main.py and we can also specify a environment with the secret variables. So in this case, it gets the name some secret and then we have to use the same name in the Python script and also when we save this in GitHub, I will show you this in a moment. And then with this, we can commit the files and then push the changes with the existing GitHub push action. So yeah, this is what you need to do in order to run a Python script as GitHub action. And then in the uh, repository, you find this actions tab. So you can click on this and here you have an overview of all the past runs. So you, so you see the name run main.py. This was one hour ago and it took 60 seconds, 16 seconds and then three hours ago and 21 seconds and so on. So yeah, this is what you have to do. And now let's have a look at how you can do this for your own project step by step. So to set this up, of course, you can clone this code here, but I want to show you how to do this for a brand new repository. So let's create a new one and let's give this a name. Let's call this actions test. Then we can specify public or private. It also works for private ones. And then we can click on create. And now you select if you use HTTPS or SSH. In my case, I use SSH to manage my credentials. And now we um, copy, so you can do this to create a new repository or push an existing one. I copy this. And now let's grab this and go to the terminal. Then I create a new directory with the same name and I want to cd into this. And now I paste all these commands and I need to do a slight modification, but this is only because I manage multiple GitHub accounts on one machine. So I need to give it this specifier. You don't have to do this. And now if we execute this and then refresh the page, then now here we have our readme uh, markdown file. And now we can open our editor and then we can set up the action and a Python script. So when I start a new project, I often create a virtual environment with this command and then I activate it with this command and now we can pip install the packages we need. Then let's create our main.py. Then, like I said, we need to create a folder that is called GitHub and then here an inner folder that is called workflows. And now here we create the actions.yaml. Then I also want to create a dot git ignore. And now let's copy the content from here. So I want this and then you can click on grab and then you can put this in here. This will just ignore some common names like the environments. Then let's go back and select the YAML file and again copy the whole thing and paste this in here. Of course you can adapt this so feel free to modify the schedule or the steps. Um, for example if you don't need this token you can remove this or remove the push changes. And by the way, this GitHub token, secrets.github token is automatically created for us. So you don't really have to worry about this, but you need this if you push changes. And I will show you how to use this in a moment. So the some secret environment variable is one thing that we have to create. And now for the main.py, let's also use the exact same code from here. So let's copy and paste this in here. And now this needs the requests module. So for this we can say pip 
install requests. And then we can say pip freeze greater sign requirements txt. This will create this file, but actually we can get rid of the rest. So we only need requests here. And now let's save all those um, files. And now, for example, we can test this. So we can say Python, Python main.py. And now you see it also created our first log file. And it says token value token is not available, but the weather is uh, this. Um, so it doesn't need the API token for this example in order to work. I will just, I just want to show you how you can access this. So to access this, we say OS environ and then the name. So in this case, I didn't set the environment variable locally. That's why it's not available. But we will um, define this in GitHub in, in one moment. But we have to remember that we have to give it this name, some secret, and then we can access it like so. So now let's add all the changes by saying git add dot and then we can say git commit and then dash m and then give it a message. So we say set up action and enter and then we say git push. And now it pushed all the files to our um, actions test. So now if we refresh this, then you see we now have all these files in here. So the main.pile and the workflows with the actions. And now if we head over to the actions, we should see run main.py. So this will run at every two hours. And now the last thing to do is to specify the same environment variable. So for this, we click on settings. And then here you find secrets actions and then you click on new secret. And now here we have to give it the same name, some secret. And then here we put in our API token. So the value and click on add secret. And now the next time, um, sorry, the next time this should run, then in main.py, it should be able to access this and then lock the value here. And yeah, this is basically everything you need. So I hope you really enjoyed this. And again, if you have cool project ideas for what we can use GitHub Actions, then let me know in the comments. And then I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.